Hi, my name is Crystal Francis. Welcome back to my channel. We are in the middle of a palette series, an eyeshadow palette series. The, we're currently working on the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. This will be the sixth tutorial or the sixth video in the series. And next I will be doing a review on the palette. Uh, that's this palette. So if you want to know all about my feelings about this palette, make sure you are subscribed and you click the little notification bell so that you're notified of that video when it comes out. And so first, we are going to use some Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer in the Rosy Row A Porcelain for as or as as an eyeshadow primer, and I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm going to get a little bit on both of my ring fingers, and I'm going to. Kind of get it patted all over the eye area, the eyelid, and then I'm going to smooth it out. And then I'm going to use some Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Loose Powder. To dust all over the, uh, the Milani foundation that we used as a primer. And I'm just getting a little bit, if you guys can see that. and rubbing it all over the eyelid where I plan to put eyeshadow on the top anyway. Then we're going to get into the palette. We are going to go into the color Sassy. That's this pink color here with this Wet n Wild brush. It's just a fluffy blending brush. You guys can't see that. Let me pull it really close. There we go. It's just kind of a flat but fluffy brush. We're going to go into Sassy and create a crease. Been watching me, you know I have hooded eyes, you know I have to build me out a crease. And I, I put this brush up against the brow bone and really use the windshield wiper motions and really try to blow it out because I want this to be the topmost color seen in this look. This, aside from the highlight color, I mean, I want this to be the, the last color um, seen by the eye. So I really kind of want it blown out. Then we'll move the other eye. She'll wipe her, working on the crease. And 
this is the last um, tutorial that I'm going to be making um, concerning the Jaclyn Hill palette series. Next will be the review and um, sneak peek. I'm whacking it a lot. And it's a really good investment if you if you like um, having a lot of colors. This is it's a really good palette for this purpose. Okay, so now I'm going to take this Wet n Wild brush. There we go. Very flat paddle brush. It doesn't say anything on there as like a name, but it's wet marl. And I'm going to go into the color. Um, what is that color? Cran Apple. And we're going to go into Cran Apple. That's that farthest most color there. This one. And it's a frosted color. It's a frosted red color. I'm going to go right in and apply that to the inner corner. I'm just going to take it across the eyelid. And you're, it's a dark enough color that you're going to want to carve out the crease. A frosty shimmery color. I may decide to take that crease up just a little bit. I'm going to take it all the way across the eyelid. And remember, I'm carving out a crease here. So I'm taking that up a little bit higher. Down a lot further than I want it to be. But we can fix that because we don't have foundation on out here. Easy fix. Okay. In this line, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna we're going to um, blend that in with Stassi later. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm a perfectionist, so I tend to really try to make it absolutely perfect, but there's no need to. So, I really would like for you guys to write in the comments section below and tell me how, how you are liking the videos so far, the, uh, the tutorials. Are you liking the tutorials? There's not a lot of people who have made a lot of comments, so uh, not really sure what everybody's thinking. Um, Hope you're enjoying them. I'm enjoying them. They've been fun for me to create. Well, see, there I go again, trying to perfect it.
then we're going to take that first wet and wild brush there we go fluffy brush and we're going to go back into sassy and we're going to blend out this harsh edge Next up, we're going to be using the um, Carly Bible Deluxe palette. And, uh, so that's going to be fun. That's a an eyeshadow palette and a highlighter palette together. So, that would be fun. I'm excited about that. Then next, I want to take, um, oh, let's take this brush. It is an Eco Tools pencil, pencil brush. You can see Eco Tools there. There we go. Now, okay. And there you have the pencil brush. And we're going to go into. This color here, which is Jack's. And we're going to take that out on that outer V. Speed that out. This is a matte shade. There we go matte shade, the dark matte red shade. Take it out on the outer V and pull it in. And I'm going to just dab it, take it all the way in, but just dab it here just a little bit. I have hooded eyes, so I have to do a little extra to make my, my crease stand out. I have thoroughly enjoyed this palette series. I hope you guys have too. I have also, hope, I hope you've noticed, <laughs> I have also been working quite a lot on the editing side of things. I don't, um, I'm not a techie kind of gal. I don't know a lot about computers and things, at least not at this point in my life. Once upon a time, I was pretty techie, but not anymore. Um, okay. Now we're going to go back in with that same fluffy wet and wild brush and go back into sassy really rough out that top edge again blend out that top edge go back into sassy and blend out that top 
my page. Okay, pretty happy with that. I'm going to go back into um, using the pencil brush, going back into Jack's and darkening up the side a little. And you can take these colors and go back and forth and back and forth with them until you get the perfect saturation for exactly what you are looking for. And, um, and you'll find that eventually, if you're not sure how at first to use a lot of different colors, eventually once you practice this, you're going to learn how. You have no choice. So, so now I want to clean up the mess that I've made on my cheek. So I'm going to take a cotton round and um, uh, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is in the waterproof. Let me show you. That. It's in the waterproof. Uh, category or that. So then we're just going to straighten up the cheeks and bring that. It's as close up as you want it to be to the eyeshadow. You can perfect that that uh, that line or that edge this way. Okay. Right. And then this <laughs> is a little ridiculous step to some people, but to some people it's exactly what needs to happen. So. I'm going to take a dry part of the cotton round and I'm going to apply it directly where I applied the makeup remover. A dry spot. Because we're going to be applying more makeup and we don't want it to dissolve. Now, let's go into Beam with this um, it's a Wet n Wild brush. As you see, it's a, um, it's a long, round, fluffy brush. Go into Beam. I'm going to go right up underneath the brow bone. I mean, uh, the eyebrow. Beam is also flat. Beam is also very frosty, shimmery. Taking it all the way underneath the eyebrow. I focus the main part of the highlight underneath the arch and then move it down. And then once all the color has been applied, then I rub it up underneath this front part here of the, 
the eyebrows to just to add a little bit there just for it to kind of come off there just a little bit because you don't you don't want a lot okay so now at this point um, I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup my eyebrows my face my cheek my lips that kind of stuff and then I'm going to leave uh, the bottom lid available for eyeshadow and um, liner and stuff when we get back. Just hang on just a minute. Hi, I'm back. <clears throat> so I did the rest of my face. Now we're gonna do the um, the bottom the bottom lid. We're gonna use this um, Elf. Wow, Elf smudge brush. Let me see if you can see that. Elf smudge brush. It's, these are pearlized white handles with silver pearlized writing. So, <clears throat> we're going to go into, um, what are we going to go into? Let's see. <clears throat> let's go into Jack. And let's do this outer third. Excuse me, my eyes are watering. Yeah. Outer third. Make sure that it meets the top. Outer third over here. Then we're going to take this, 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 this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they make up my mind. This is the elf upside down brush. <laughs> Professional, that's the word. Professional eye crease brush. And it's, and you can at least see that it's elf. Anyway, it's a round, it is a round brush, I promise. I just cleaned it a little while ago. It's a round brush, fluffy brush, but it's really <clears throat> compact. The bristles are really compact, so <clears throat> it really gets, like, in the crease really good. So we're going to go back into Crown Apple, and we're going to take this underneath the entire lash line, Crown Apple. And we're going to do it on the other side. Now, I want to take this Eco Tools brush. So, Eco Tools, right down here. And this is just a flat, it's a paddle brush, but um, it's 
It's really more for lip, but we're going to go into Beam and use this as a highlighter color. Inner corner highlight. What a difference that makes. Little corner highlight. Okay. And if you well, hang on. I get so distracted sometimes when I'm doing these tutorials. Now we're going to take the Physician's Formula. There we go. Physician's Formula. Uh, it's a retractable eyeliner called Smoky Eyes. We're going to do the bottom third underneath the bottom lash line, bottom third, outer third. And on the other side, and then all the way across the top, Other side. Let's be a little darker. Back over here. So that they kind of match, you know. So now that that's done, I'm gonna pop off camera and do my lashes, my just mascara, and I'll be right back. So this is the completed look to the um the red eye look, um, the red eye tutorial for the Jaclyn Hill palette. I hope you enjoyed this series. I know I did. I'm looking forward very much to doing the review video for the Jaclyn Hill palette series. And so, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I, um, I hope you take inspiration from the tutorials that I have come up with, the looks that I have created, and you can use this palette or and other palettes that have quite a lot of colors. I'm, I'm hoping that you can take a, an eyeshadow palette like this and take some inspiration or, or be able to create some looks from this palette now. Anyway, um, I love you guys. Um, I hope you had a good uh, Memorial Day weekend. I love you.